Welcome back. Now it's time for our spin cycle, the part of the show where we get a taste of the action at one of our Spin City's finest nighteries. We're here at the Temple Theatre for their infamous Saturday night space. I'm interested in dance music, so we said it, when we took it over, we were doing a, a Saturday night, we dedicated to a good kind of a God's Kitchen stroke gate crasher type night, and uh, we sort of like booking to the big DJs. Like, it took us a while to get the big names because obviously they, they, they don't want to play a venue they don't know. And Jules has been supporting us now for the last two years, and he's by far our most popular. Him and uh, Mauro Picado, and we've had them all here: Tall Paul, Seth Fontaine, Carl Cox, Green Velvet. They've all played here, and they love coming over here because they love the crowd. It's every Saturday night. It's like the best night club night in Dublin, uh, the best club at the best club in Dublin, really. Like you've got 1,800 punters here the majority of weeks, and it's like all hands in the air. It's like pretty euphoric, like the atmosphere. You give me something, something that nobody else can give. It's originally a Church of Ireland church, dating back uh, 200 years ago. It's a listed building, which means uh, nothing, no, no changes can be made to it structurally. Uh, and the organ itself. Uh, is worth four million pounds and the stained glass windows are worth about a million pounds. With the main auditorium, uh, which has a balcony, would hold approximately uh, 1,500 people. And downstairs here is called the crypt. Uh, now before this was, uh, this is, it used to be a consecrated ground obviously, and before it was sold to the property developers, there was actually 14 bodies entombed down here in the crypt. So they had to be removed and uh, reburied. The music policy tonight is uh, anything from uh, Funky house to hard house to hard trance, which is like exactly what Jules plays. Like he's doing a fire tonight, so he probably start off quite funky. He build it up so when at the end he'd be just banging out the big tunes. The atmosphere is great. You never get a crowd like the atmosphere in Dublin. It's it's uh, every DJ that visits here says it's the cheers. Everyone loves to play here. This is the temple is the place. If you mention Ireland, everybody says the temple. <laughs> kids who want to have a good time and it's a very relaxed door policy uh, and to come here at, on, on, on a Saturday just want to come in and ha have a couple of drinks just lose themselves for four hours just listen to good music and shout and scream and have a good time but it's just what clubbing is all about. The so clubbers come to space and do really want you know they know their music and they know who they like and they know what they want to hear. They're, they, they, they give the club great support and you know, it helps, it helps, we've won a lot of awards because of the club is at space for like, you know, in the sense of generating loud atmosphere because like, they, they really go off like, you know. in Dublin seems to be going really well at the moment and that's from all music styles like there's drum and bass nights that are really taking off well there's um, we say techno nights that are really really big in Dublin we've got the hard house nights in the crypt here and then we've hard trance nights upstairs people now in Dublin are educated to what they like in different types of music whereas a couple of years ago they weren't at all so they uh, they know who they like and what they want so they go to the venues where they're playing and that basically narrows it down of course, the Irish are good drinkers, so that helps along the way as well. Dublin's full of fantastic places to eat and drink.